Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, Oscar. Hi. Hello, Pame. Hello, <laughs> Osmel. Hello, Brian. Hello, Joanna. It's good hello, to see you. Sir. How hello, are you? Sir. Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you doing all? Good, and you, teacher? I'm happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine, yes. I'm very, very happy. Thank you for asking. All right. So welcome, Joanna. Welcome, Brian. Welcome, Walter. Okay, Eric, it's good to see you all. Hello. Hello, hello. Jason. Welcome, Jason. Good evening. Good evening, Brian. Are you there, Brian? Okay. All right. So welcome, everyone. It's good to see you all. Um, I apologize because we couldn't see each other yesterday. Yes, no, we couldn't see. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I couldn't come because um, I was in the hospital with my wife. And then, yes, I have my little daughter with me here at home. So, yes. So that's why I was asked how, was, how, how I was feeling. And then I said that I'm very happy and I'm kind of sleepy because I couldn't sleep last night. You know, if you are a mom or a dad, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, so thank She's you. She's newborn? Uh, yeah, she was born yesterday. yesterday. Ah, congratulations. Oh, yeah. uh, thank you. Your first thank son you. or second son? Uh, my, son. First, uh, my first daughter. Congratulations. Your first ah, daughter? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, I mean, if you're a mom or a dad, you know, you know what about what I, what I, what I am going to experience in the next coming days. Yeah, uh, you know, changing you're going to diapers. Fall in love with another woman. Well, sure. indeed, uh, indeed, this <laughs> morning I was like, you know, like, um, like having her on my arms. You know, that's wow. That's another. That's another it's thing. So yeah. Cute, that's yeah. Yeah, and I was changing diapers. This, uh, this yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, this is a good experience. Watch like, some videos in YouTube. They are useful. Yeah, I've been doing that like for a long time, so I guess I'm kind of ready. And I have ah, a, okay. Yeah, <laughs> one of my knees. Uh, she's um six year six month old. So I've been trying and working with her. <laughs> So we're so, practicing a long I time practicing. Her, yeah. I was practicing with my little nephew. Uh, so I'm uh, now I guess I'm kind of ready. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are but ready I, now. Yeah, but it's good. It's good to see you here, Aneida and, and Borja. Wow, Borja. Why Borja? Oh, you uh, that's your last name, right? Wilmer? Yeah. I know, yeah. Wilmer. Is that is, is that your last name? Yeah. And I and I see uh, that you're watching La Selecta. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. So they are <laughs> zero, zero, zero right? Yeah. Zero, zero, yeah. Okay, so how was your day? Tell me, how was your day? What do you do? Tell me. Walter. Anyone? Yeah, okay, it was a bad day for me, teacher. Wow. I was sick, a lot of stomachal problems, yeah. What did you eat yesterday? I don't know, but I felt... <laughs> all day teacher oh okay okay but uh uh right now it's very good oh okay so now you are feeling good yeah mm -hmm. okay okay no no that, that's good that's good okay how about you uh Brent? how was your day my day oh, yeah. Wait, I didn't hear you. yeah yeah how was your day mm -hmm. yeah, today what do you do today it was really nice because uh, I remember that I told you that I trying to get a new job. So I get the job to Canal 12 and that's so good for me. Oh, and nice. I Congratulations. I feel so happy for that. And I will start the next Monday. So I went to the, the Canal 12 today to the ah. interview and what's so good. Oh, nice. Good. So well, good. What are you going to be doing over there? And I will work in with Paul El Salvador and Pop Dose. Wow. Look at you. Wow. Okay, say hello to Inglés Corporativo. Say, yeah. hey, to yeah. Pedro Vázquez, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and also to my crazy classmates. You, you can say hello yeah. to your class. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, good, good. All right, so uh, how about you, Reina? How was your day? 
Hello, Reina. Mire, Reina, ella está encendiendo la luz. Reina, hello. Hello, how was your day, Reina? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, okay, good. Oscar, are you there, Oscar? Oscar? Yes, teacher. Okay, how was your day, Oscar? Well, great. Well, today I travel, I travel in for to Chapeltique. Well, yesterday I visited Gotera. <laughs> Oh, you, 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 I, was, I wasn't eating Gotera, I was in San Miguel. Otherwise, I would have said hello. <laughs> hey, what part in San Michael City uh, you, you work? Well, I work in San Miguel City. Uh, um, I cannot mention the name because of the because uh, this uh, is being recorded. But I work in the close to the main cemetery. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Roosevelt Avenue. Close, yeah. I, I work close enough. To that place mm -hmm. uh, yeah oh okay. well and then well um well i i bring package well i waiting for three hours well well it was mm, boring but at the end it was great oh you know, okay okay today. okay good good okay what about you marta how, how was your day marta hello teacher Hello. Um, I'm a little sick. Oh. Yes, I I have a flu. Okay. I hope you can get better. Thank you. Okay. Uh, welcome, Carlos. How are you? How are you, Carlos? Carlos Jose. Good evening. I'm very sleepy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, thank you for being honest. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the activity. We're gonna start with the topic that we're gonna be doing today. Um, let me see. I'm going to share my screen. All right. So today we are going to be talking about how to prepare our favorite recipe. What's your favorite food, people? Okay, tell me, what's your favorite food? Bean and rice. Okay, sushi. Bean and rice. Sushi, what else? Yeah. Tell me. Hamburger. Hamburger, okay. From where? I also love the bread with cheese. Oh, That's bread. amazing. Bread with cheese? <laughs> what kind of bread? Like sweet bread? Whatever bread. No, like whatever bread. bread. Oh, you mean like Pan Francis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one that sells in the street. <laughs> That's okay. good. Okay, with cheese. Uh, like you mean like cheese. what kind of cheese? Like, like quesillo. Oh, okay, okay. Melt. Like to to cook some chilaquilas and etc. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So we're gonna be talking about how to prepare our favorite recipe. This is the uh, the agenda that I have. We're gonna be talking about uh well now your childhood, but the, some activities, some activities that you did or how to cook your favorite thing. Okay, so the student, uh, well, this is the introduction. Uh, the student will be, uh, the objective that we're gonna be working on today, the student will be able to describe what? Describe your favorite recipe using sequence adverbs, such as, for example, first, second, next, then, afterward, uh, finally, etc. okay? Yo sé que ya terminaron uh, la actividad. Yo sé que ya la terminaron, right? Or you haven't finished it yet? No. Okay. I... Oh, and by the way, um, I, 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 I forgot to say that, but I, oh, I forgot to mention that. Pero eh, como el día de ayer no nos reunimos, o sea que estamos debiendo una clase, right? Yes. Si no me equivoco, yes. la vamos a tomar el, el, el viernes, on Friday, exactly. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué fecha que sería quede. Friday? Así Friday. Que quede, profe. I don't know de oh. nada. ¿Eh? Oh, February. Friday what? For. Okay. Okay. Tengo una pregunta. ¿Cuándo? Let me. See. I'm just um. Friday asking four. right. ¿Cuándo termina este módulo para ustedes? Do you know? The next. I week. think that uh, February fourth. Hmm. February. Oh, the next week. 
it's because next the, week. Next yeah, week. This is the third week. Yes. At the end of this module, it's February the, the 10th. Damn. That means, yeah, yeah that oh, means okay. next, next Thursday. All right. Yeah. Okay. Next okay. Thursday. All right. So I guess, uh, I guess um, we are going to be recovering uh, the session that we missed yesterday. I'm not sure right now if it is this Friday or next Friday. I'm not sure, but I'm going to let you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. I hope that is clear. Um, let's move on. So what do you learn on Monday? Do you remember that I have a question on Monday? Yo le dije, mañana se lo voy a preguntar. But I didn't know that I yeah. was not coming. So what is the difference between being and gone? Does yeah. anybody know? Yeah, the first being is when you are talking or I question, uh, ask uh, somebody when some trip, when that person mm -hmm. uh, go and back. Being. Okay. Okay. For example, if you ask uh, somebody, um, how you been in at, in China? If you are talking with that person, is because that person back, but gone uh, mean the same ido, but gone at uh, that person or that situation or time come back. Okay, good, good. Well, Borja, thank you for sharing uh, um, or talking about the difference. And yes, as you were saying, when we are asking being to, that means that that person went to the, uh, that place and then he or she came back. She is back or he is back. For example, have you been to Mexico? That means that you were here in El Salvador and then you went to Mexico and then you were there having fun, going to party, etc. And after a week, you come back to a Salvador. So that's what I'm asking, right? Uh, have you ever been to Mexico? All right. What about gone? When we are talking about gone, is that person, that person went to Mexico and he or she is there in Mexico, right? For example, I can say Wilbur or Wilbur has gone or Wilmer has be has gone to Mexico. What is Wilmer? Oh, he is in Mexico now. See? For everyone, is that clear? Yeah, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. I got it the meaning. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. Okay, ¿qué más aprendieron? Uh, what do you, what else did you learn last class last week? Or, or last class? About the Present perfect, per, present perfect when, present when perfect. Use, uh, auxiliaries have or has use a verb after the auxiliaries um, past participle. Okay, good, good, good example. All right, so go to the chat, everyone, and type one sentence using the present perfect. Okay, vamos a ver el chat. Let's see. Go to the chat and type a sentence using the present perfect. Okay. Let me see the sentence. I have been... Okay, Pame, that is another one. That's another, that is... Present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have been that studying is... a lot. I have been studying. Yo he estado estudiando mucho. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Al menos que dijera, I have studied a lot. Ahí cambia diferente. All right, let me see. Oraciones. Okay. I have been, I have been in Guatemala. Good, Eric. Um, let me see, Borja, where have you been? Good. Cristobal, I have studied English since 2017. Good. And Aida, have you ever been in Mexico and Guatemala? Good. Uh, I have been in Santa Ana again. 
I good. I have been in the pupusodromo now. Okay, Joanna, si usted dice I have been in the pupusodromo now, mm, le cambia el significado, porque en español usted me estaría diciendo yo he estado en el pupusodromo ahora. Hmm. No tiene sentido. Um, ¿De qué? You, ha, you Joanna, have to use the verb to be in past. Was aware. Joanna, Joanna, is that clear, Joanna? Is it? Yeah. So maybe you delete now. Y eso tiene sentido. Yo he ido o yeah. yo he estado en el pupusódromo. Pero si me coloca now, significa que ahorita usted está en el pupusódromo. Ok. 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 Thank you. Uh, Borja, have you ever been to China? Good. I have been in Costa Rica two times. Good, Brian. I never been to, uh, to Costa Rica. Uh, let me see. Okay. Good. Uh, let me see, Marta. I have been in Antigua, Guatemala. Good. Reina Triguero, I have been in the work. Okay. Yes, I have been in the work. Okay. What else? Okay, no, that's that's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, what are we going to do today? Uh, we have a warm-up activity, and since we're going to be talking about our recipes, so I'm going to invite okay, you to describe food. your favorite food. For that, what are you going to do? Number one, you are going to attend the small breakout rooms. I'm going to assign you to a breakout rooms, and then you need to attend that. Next, you're going to describe your favorite food without mentioning its name, okay? And the last one, your classmates have to guess what food you are talking about. For example, let me see. For example, okay. Voy a hacer la prueba con todos ustedes. And then we'll, I, I, I'll see if you can guess what my favorite food is. Well, um, this food is very, very delicious. I eat it every day, especially uh, lunch. You can eat it with, with potato. You can eat it with vegetables. You can eat it with tomatoes. And it's very delicious. Uh, uh, you can eat that food uh, on every holidays, especially uh, on Christmas, on New Year's Eve. Etc. What is my favorite food? Chicken oh, stew. Stew? No. Turkey. Chicken stew. No. no. Chicken. Yes. Chicken is my favorite food. I said that you can eat it with potatoes, with uh, vegetable. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? I'm going to assign you to a breakout room. And you are going to describe your favorite food. Por favor, no mencionen el nombre, porque si mencionan el nombre del, de la food, your classmates are going to know that what your favorite food is. Okay? So uh, I'm going to assign you to breakout rooms. I have, uh, uh, I'm going to provide four people. Let me see. Five. Okay. Okay, please. You will have five minutes to describe. Okay, five minutes or four minutes? I guess I'm gonna give you four minutes. Okay, it's 2019. So I want you back by 20, let me see, 20, 21, 22, 2023. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. So, is uh, it's a, it's a gray um, banana, green banana, awesome peas, and rice. Uh, after that, you have to aplastar. I'm gonna say aplastar. You know how to say aplastar? I don't know. <laughs> the blast. Crush. I don't. Mash. 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 Yeah. 
this much and uh, you have to fry it um wait uh prawns you know what the meaning prawns camarones mm -hmm. with um cream garlic or garlic cream um, crema la here do you know how is this food? It's pizza. Yeah, it's pizza. Okay. Thank you. Carlos, what about you? Me continue. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, my favorite food um, contain ingredients. Um, uh, Mayonnaise, no sé si se pronuncia así, mayonesa, mayonnaise, um, onion. Um. How about you, Eric? I'm going to describe it. Well, it's <laughs> a kind of food delicious for me. Uh -huh. uh, you, can, you can prepare it uh, with eggs, tuna, uh, you can add tomato and what else? Let me see. Uh, I think that's it, but it's delicious. <laughs> Again, eggs, yeah. uh -huh. tuna, and tomato. Favorite food is this food has cheese, a little pasta, and sauce, and, and meat or chicken. What is the food? Um, my favorite hamburger uh, and cheese. Okay. I don't remember in, in English, but I don't know, lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> that's right. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> well, it's, I, I love lasagna. <laughs> yes, it's well, delicious. It's, uh, with cheese, with cheese, it's more delicious. Exactly. And Reina? Oh, we finished. What? See you, see you later. What? Welcome back. Welcome everyone back. Okay, uh, I heard um, you were having some um, uh, good, great talking time, and I was very happy to see you all um, work talking and talking and talking, which is what is what was the main uh, this that was the main um idea of this exercise okay so uh let me see since i know some of you okay let me see in the group you were having a very great time talking but sometimes it was kind of difficult to guess to guess the kind of food the person was describing and you were like guessing and guessing and guessing but yeah. let me ask you, uh, who wants to uh, describe that favorite food that you described over there in the, in the small breakout room? So, los que, los que estaban con ustedes are not allowed to say, oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let me see a volunteer. I got one. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. There are fresh green plantains or uh, coles paracones. In español, in Spanish, patacones. And over there, over them, uh, garlic, shrimp, sasha. How is the name? What's the name of the food? Uh, the the Wilma Sounds is... weird, teacher. Sounds so weird. <laughs> you can because... find you can find this in in, the, in in El Salvador in food truck in Santa Elena. 
Because yeah. you know, first of all, Hiri Morasan, I know I'm saying like Hiri Morasan, <laughs> I'm Morasan. You know, Patacones, you know what Patacon is here in, 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 um, in Morasan? A Patacon like is a, a very small animal, animal that sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a rapata. It's a familiar yeah. of... But, 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 by Honduras, uh -huh. Nicaragua, uh -huh. Panama, and Colombia, uh -huh. Venezuela, uh -huh. is um, green bananas, fry. Ah, okay. Patacon, okay. Okay, now it makes sense. What like you smash, describe. right? Yeah. Strange name. Yeah. And over them, is the name. Over them, garlic shrimp stash. So what kind of food? Okay, can you guess what the food he's describing? <laughs> uh-huh. Anyone? No. No. Yeah. No. What is it? You can find you get you can find in the food truck in Santa Elena and Tostada. call it patacones. Tostadas. Ajillo. Tostadas. That's what Pata it says. Patacones al ajillo. That's the name. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. I never heard that, but good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, custom uh, only. Uh, come in. Okay. What about yeah, this? Come in, describe, <laughs> describe your food. Describe your food. So my food is based uh, with basically made with rice, white rice. Then you can add as a protein like fish, tuna, or shrimp. Sushi. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, like going around and trying to think about the, why. The only the only food in El Salvador with rice is um. Uh, sushi or uh, casamiento, oh. but she said she said uh, white rice. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Good. You are okay. good at guessing food. Okay. Uh, one volunteer. Let me ask one volunteer. Eric, is that you, Eric? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Uh, well. One of my favorite food is preparing with eggs and the main the main ingredient is tuna and you can add tomato and other ingredients like uh, I don't remember but it's delicious so <laughs> eggs tuna and tomato eggs. Tuna, tomato, and I, I don't remember other ingredients. Mm, yeah, you can add onion, but I don't like it. Onion, I don't like it. Huevo perico. I don't know what is a huevo perico, but it's really? not. <laughs> okay, I don't know either what a, what a huevo perico is, but no, definitely not. It's not that. Ma what is it? Anyone can guess? Because I don't guess. Tuna, eggs, Tuna. and tomato. Yeah, but it's, um, and you it's can salad. what? Salad, yeah. It's salad. Salad. Oh, okay. salad. Salad. Is that tuna salad? Is that tuna salad? Salad. Yeah. What? Salad. 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 Oh. Ensalada de tuna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I read a tuna salad. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Thank you so much, Eric. Um, okay. Thank you for participating and talking. Thank you for not being afraid of speaking up, which uh, I keep saying that's the main purpose of any activity. All right. So today we are going to cook. Well, now we are going to cook, but we are going to be talking about cooking our favorite food. You know, so what I would like you to do right now is exchange information about a recipe you know how to cook. And then you are going to explain the process to cook it, okay? For example, um, let me see, who can, who can cook uh, sun side up eggs? I can cook that. How do you cook that? 
Well, first I have to make sure that the something. <laughs> Oil. Oh, the pan. The no, pan. the pan is hot. Mm -hmm. Then I break the egg. Then I put in some oil. Wait, then uh, I put uh, the egg. Okay. I I wait to be fried at one side, and then uh then I turn turn it. Okay. Good. Good. You know how to cook a sunside egg. Good. Okay. I can get married now. You can, you can, oh, yeah, yeah. You are ready to do it. And and all the guys are saying yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. They are very naughty. They are very naughty. Okay, okay. Who who else? Joanna, tell me something that you know how to cook, Joanna. Something easy, easy, easy to cook. Marathon salt. <laughs> Okay, you can put a container mm -hmm. and put over the stove, <laughs> and you have water hot. <laughs> okay, hot water, hot water. Remember in English, the water. ice that goes first. Okay, all right, good, good, okay. good. Okay, Did good. Yes, yes, yes. The, yes, yes. the most easy recipe. Uh, is it's a uh, boiled eggs. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Marucha>. Boiled eggs. <laughs> boiled egg. Okay, how do you boil eggs? Boil eggs. <laughs> Re Only hey, the pupusa. Huh? <laughs> how do you cook that? Be hated pupusa. Be hated. Re hated. Re hated. What is re hated? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So what, easy, easy. look, before you go and, and talk about how you cook your favorite recipe, it's very important that we know how to use sequence adverbs. Okay. How do you sequence adverbs? They are very important because they show us the process to do something. For example, if you get a new um, refrigerator, for example, you open it up and then you are going to find a manual, something that it tells you how to do something, what goes first, second, and third, and so on, okay? That's why if you are writing something, if you are explaining something, how to do something, it's mandatory that you use sequence as verb. Okay, and these, the one that I'm showing you here, they are the most common ones. They are the most common ones. There are other ones, but these are the common ones. For example, look at this example, how to make a cup of tea. First, we boil some water. Next, serve the water in a cup. Then put the tea bag in the water after add some sugar and milk and finally add a biscuit biscuit and enjoy it good those are some connector of sequence see there are more i would say uh they are they are more general ones okay when you are writing something a sequence about something how something is made or how something needs to be followed, these are some typical connectors that you can find. For example, lo, lo más típico, primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, sexto, and so on. Okay? Okay. Okay, first, second, third, finally, next, meanwhile. This is something, I don't know if you know that word, meanwhile. Mientras tanto, para mientras. Para mientras, <laughs> mientras tantos, mientras. Yeah, para mientras o mientras tanto. Okay? Sí. So, for example, uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, you are cooking. Meanwhile, in the meanwhile, you drink, uh, you drink a soup of something. Meanwhile. Okay? And then after, before, later, then, subsequently, 
First of all, okay, see, what is first of all? First of all. First of all. First of primero all. Que todo. Lo primero que todo, lo primero que nada, okay? Lo primero de todo. First of all, and also good. It's funny because you can say second of all, third of all, okay? Mm -hmm. And so on. But the most common or the most used one is first of all, okay? First of all. Okay, next, by the time, eventually, at the last. ¿Qué significa the last? El último. El último. Al final, at the last. Oh, okay. O en fin. Okay? okay. At the end, también puede ser al final. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Furthermore. What is furthermore? Furthermore. Además. Además. Good. Furthermore. Far, okay, repeat after me. Furthermore. 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 Okay, Furthermore. Furthermore. Pero, Furthermore. si no pueden colocar solamente farther. 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 Okay. Further. Yeah. Farther. Further. Good, Further. good. Okay. And then we have moreover. Further. What is moreover? Además. Moreover. Mm -hmm. Además. Another. Además. Okay, another or in addition also. Other. Yeah. And this one, yeah. see, see, there are some uh, verb, I mean, there are some uh, uh, sequence adverbs that are interchangeable. You cannot oh. interchange those uh, those sequence of words. Why? Porque, por ejemplo, el first, el primero, ese no es, no es intercambiable. Okay? Porque no puedo decir, no puedo colocar otro en vez de esa palabra. Siempre tiene que ser el primero. Sin embargo, con after, before, later, then, they are interchangeable. I can use other word instead of that word. ¿Ok? ¿Es that clear? O sea, teacher, que si hay una receta que lleva unos 20 complementos, 20 pasos, ¿se puede repetir alguno de ellos? ¿Tengo que llevar una secuencia de los 20 en diferentes utilizando los diferentes conectores o puedo you can, repetirlos you, you can combine after. all of them you can combine after and before mm. yeah most okay. of the time people use after after later after yeah. next yeah, yeah. after Damn. next uh, yeah. let me see another one uh, Four next more. also also is another one that people use a lot in addition in yeah. addition etc okay okay look these are the ones that goes at the end. In conclusion, finally, to summarize, afterward, etc. All right? Okay. okay. Good. Good. So what are we going to do right now? All right. So we are going to... We are going to write a short story. Okay? So I'm going to give you around five minutes and then you are going to write a short story. Using what? Using these pictures. Okay? I have a house in the forest. I have a, a car. I have a dog. I have a picnic. I have a family. I have a warm bear. Okay? So what I would like you is, I would like you to write a short story right now, okay? So you will have okay. five minutes. ¿Y qué tienen que usar? Tienen que usar esto. First, second, todo esto se ejemplo. The one that, that you think you can use, it. okay? First, second, third, meanwhile, before, later, and third, etc. in conclusion, or finally, okay? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Because after I give you five minutes, you are going to go to a small breakout rooms and you are going to read your story, including uh, sequencing adverbs. Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, teacher. If you need any question, I'm going to be here. Let me see. Voy a preguntarle a alguien qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Brian, can you tell us what we're going to be doing, Brian? Yeah, we're going to invent 
uh, is uh, on history using these pictures uh, as a card, a dog, all the all the, the pictures. pictures. Yeah, and after that, we will go into in a breakout room to share our our story with the partners. Awesome! Thank you, thank you, Brian. Okay, yes, that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, we are going to be writing a a, a story using those pictures and then including sequence adverbs all right Okay, if you have questions, I'm here, all right? You have around four minutes, no, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Write a fantastic Teacher, can you, um put the 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 other slide the first one i mean i can i can i can just keep in mind uh imagine the pictures i mean keep in mind the pictures that you need to include in your story okay. and then i'm going to put it here see okay see that one thank you mm -hmm. Okay, okay, time is running. Remember, you have a house in the forest, picnic, a dog, a car, a family, and a bear. One more minute and we are done. Oh, and by the way, uh, let me see, Borja. You need to keep that story uh, because you are going to read your story in the small breakout room, okay? Wilmer? Okay, got you. Okay, just keep it in mind so that you cannot forget it when uh, when you had the time to share your story. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Hello. Yes. Almost. 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 Keep it simple. 
keep it as simple, keep it as simple so that, um, that it can be uh, very used, uh, very, I mean, uh, that you don't need to take a lot of time. Just keep it as simple. Okay. For example, that can be five sentences or three sentences, including all that, all those connector sequence. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to go to uh, breakout rooms. And then over there, you need to read your stories. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have very, very small breakout rooms so that everyone can have a, a chance to talk. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's good. All right. No, it's going to be four. Okay. Hi. 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 Hello, everybody. Hello. We need a volunteer. Me. Okay, go ahead. I didn't understand very well, but first I have a very nice house. Then I don't have dogs because I don't like them. I have a white car, but today I have a red car. I don't know bears, but I like teddy bears. Nice. Okay. Okay, this is my story. In holidays, I wanted to have a free day with my dog and my family in the cabin that my father, my grandfather have had since I was a child. First, I prepared all the things that I needed. We started our trip, but later the car started to have some problems. Later, I called a mechanic and he fixed it. Then we came to the cabin and looked for a story. <laughs> okay. First, I travel in my car. Then I was in the country house. Then take my dog for a walk. I also enjoy it and sunset. Then I had a picnic and a finally watching a bird the movie. Well, good. good job. Okay, thank you. Osmel, are you here? I don't write in nothing. Um, and the beer, uh, is possible the beer, uh, sería Scotty. Scotty. Uh -huh. And with my family visited the the Cerro Verde and finally uh, come back to my home and was a beautiful day. That's all. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, perfect. And you teacher. <laughs> oh, do you finish? I was just, I just, I was just hearing an Ada. Mm -hmm. Do you all finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Can you hear again? Okay. So you can no, 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 no. You can talk more about um, more about if you want to add more info because I'm, I'm checking and monitoring every single room. That's why I'm looking at every single room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's why I gotta okay. go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay.
is that. Good. We finish. <laughs> Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Um, uh, I, I, I heard some of you talking about your experiences uh, and your stories about, it, about the forest, the picnic, and being attacked by bears. The good thing is that you were free to use, um, you were free to use sequence of adverbs in your sentences. All right, so let's wait for you other classmates. Okay, they are here right now. Welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone, good. Okay, so how was your um, your group story? Okay, how was that? How was your stories? Tell me. Borja's story was pretty good. Okay, all right. What also, else? Joanna. Mm -hmm. Very nice history. The Pame and the Wilbur. Okay, good, good. Congratulations. What about the other group? Mm -hmm. I would I would like to hear one. Who wants to uh who wants to tell us one out of the three? I mean uh the 15 that we have. I want to hear one story that you wrote, including sequence adverbs which is the topic that we are using today. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Or oh, should I include, should I uh, Should I select or choose anyone? Okay, Osmel, what do you write, Osmel? Osmel? I don't mean. <laughs> uh, Osmel, don't be afraid to open your microphone. Okay. Osmer? Hi, teacher. Ah, what happened? Why didn't you write the sentences, Osmer? Uh -huh. I don't write nothing, teacher. Why? What happened? Está comen bien chiqui. Okay, uh, it's okay. Okay, no worries, Osmer. I'm going to okay. uh, choose uh, anyone else, okay? Thank you. Okay, uh, Cristobal Eduardo. Hello, Cristobal Eduardo. Hello, Cristobal. Hello, teacher. Do you write a uh, do you write a short story using the pictures? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you mind reading your story? Yeah. Okay, go go ahead, read it. Okay, um, in holidays, I wanted to have a free day with my dog and my family in the cabin that my grandfather had had since I was a child. Mm -hmm. First, I prepared all the things that I needed. We started our, our trip, but later the car started to have some problems. I called a mechanic and he fixed it. Then we came to the cabin and looked for a beautiful place in order to have a a lunch, but suddenly a bear appeared and or, and we started to feel scared. But finally, my family and I enjoyed the adventures that we have during our trip. Oh, That's it. good. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Good Thank example. You. Okay. <laughs> Someone else? Someone else? One more story? Okay, Borja. Well, First, my family and I are in our house in the forest. Then we are riding our luxurious car to share our lunch in the forest. When an angry bear came out screaming on scared us. Finally, our dog come to the rescue driving the bear away. <laughs> okay, good, good, Wilbur. 
Thank you so much. Okay, one more, one more story. Eneida, thank you, Eneida. Thank you, thank you so much. And the one <laughs> is. Eneida? Marta, yeah. Oh, Marta. Hello. Okay, Hi. Mar Hello, can you read your sentence? Yes. Okay, I mean, know uh, your sentence about your story. Uh -huh. Okay. I went to holidays to a house in the forest. Mm -hmm. First of all, we used the black car. After mm -hmm. we buy food to have a picnic, then with my family, we saw a beer and her song. Moreover, we take a picture with they. Finally, we had fun for two days with um, games of table like uh, chess and uh, we enjoy the nature nice Finish. nice good job i liked your story all of you had a great ma imagination and you are very creative which is something that i admire right now okay so the last one let me see uh walter what about you, Walter? Okay. Okay. I think uh, take a vacation right okay. now. Mm -hmm. My casual could be first rent a uh, rent a, a car. Uh, then second, sorry, second and rent a uh, a house in middle of the forest. Then when we are when we are my family and i um go out to the walk go out walk with my dog also know as some different species of animal such as birds after my family after my family and i relaxing and do a picnic in the middle of the forest and the end come back relaxing at uh, home the city okay good good thank yeah. you thank you all right so before um we go because our uh, time is almost over um i would like you to write in the chat one sentence including one advert of sequence or one sequence advert okay that's gonna be the wrap-up activity okay mm -hmm. but in a sentence in a sentence um, Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Wilmer, are you there, Wilmer? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, was, what, uh, I was watching the result of, okay. the, result of the game. How, yeah. how was it? It's just uh, writing one sentence, including one sequence advert. One sentence, including one word. First of all, categorically. I have to read. Write it. I'll type it in the okay. chat. Okay. 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 And Ada says, first, we buy food to have a picnic. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, traveled in my car. Good. Huh? First, we buy two food. Okay, at the end, I select, I lost the game. I can finally, when I get up in the morning, the first thing I'm doing is brushing my teeth, okay? Your life will change as a father teacher. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> like to my heart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, you are right. You are right, Brian. I guess it was you. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> So sad, but so happy at the same time. Okay, the first of all, my family. See, I'm I'm kind of sleepy. Um, um, when I take my nap, firstly, I light my favorite in incense. Okay, good. Uh, the first of all, uh, the first of all, my family and I went to the forest. Good. At the end of at the end at the end, all of us are going to speak in English. Good. Yes, that's the main goal. Um, when let me see. Okay, that that's it. Okay, good. I can see that you're using adverb or sequence or sequence of adverbs. 
uh, to express ideas and express sentences, which was that the main idea of today's topic, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully we're gonna meet tomorrow with another topic. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow. Do you have any question or is there any question? I have problems with the platform. Oh, uh, did you contact uh, Flor? Flo? Yes. Okay, what did she say? No, it's she not, doesn't answer Florida, right Florida. now. Okay, keep, uh, keep asking her uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure she's, gonna, uh, she's going to get back to you. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. All right. So if there is no more questions, so it's good to see you. It was great to see you. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.